Hello, my makeup loving friends. <laughs> I decided to do a palette and eyeshadow palette collection for two reasons. One, because I love looking at other people's eyeshadow palette collections, so I'm thinking somebody might like to see this. Secondly, because I don't even know what all I have, and I definitely don't use it all. So this is gonna help me out a lot. Um, this is one more thing that's gonna really help me out when I make this week's makeup basket. Okay, so the first one that I'm really excited about is this Lorac Pro palette. Not the Pro, that's the black. I used to have the black one, like that's regular shaped, flipped up, you know. I don't have that one. This is something new. And it's the uh, Lorac Pro Palette Artist Edition. And those are the colors, all neutrals. I do not have, you would think, as many palettes as you're about to see that I would have a good amount of neutrals but I don't and these are just absolutely gorgeous and so soft it's weird in a good way not a bad way but they are so incredibly soft I look forward to trying these on so this is gonna be in the makeup basket for sure this week maybe even the next few weeks because I really want to have a good amount of time to play with that one let me get the other one that I called just the other day. This is the uh, Ciate London um, Everyday Vacay Eye and Cheek Palette. So you've seen this one. I wouldn't open it for you, so you may not have seen it. You may not watch my videos in order, or you may have just stumbled upon me just now. Um, this is supposed to be a face palette and an eyeshadow palette, but I say there's no way that you can get your blush brush in there. But you know what? I'm still going to try. But here's another palette of neutrals and then some colors that can be neutral that we ever look like this grayish purple color. You know, that's still a neutral. Of course, I consider animal print a neutral too, so take that as you will or as you'd like. Okay, so you've seen those two lately. Now let's see. Okay. I think I hauled this one for you guys too. And I kept it for the sole purpose of the fact that every single eyeshadow is, um, I need to get something to help me not blind you with mirrors. Okay. Every single color is named after an amazing woman in history. And this too has lots of mattes, but mostly a lot of cool glitters. Glitter's tricky for me at my age, so. Okay, so we could put all these up here as we go. I'm gonna put that box over there. Most of these don't have a box. Okay, here is a classic. This is the original Urban Decay Naked palette, so. And it's got the velvety felt. I love that. I think most people have this that are my age. This is a neutral palette too. I just don't reach for it because I always reach for the Naked Cherry palette. I don't know why. Well, you can tell I've used this though. Those pans are dipped. Definitely not unused. Okay. Oh, oh, this is one I got lately and showed you guys this iconic London palette that has these beautiful, I'm really super excited about this yellow one called Mimosa because yellow really makes blue eyes pop and it's not a common color to find. Um, so this is another new one that you've seen recently when I started doing hauls. Of course, I've only been doing YouTube for, oh gosh, did I start in February? I haven't done a lot of makeup looks or hauls um, compared to the amount of makeup I have, if that makes sense. So, as you all know, currently, this is my favorite, the Naked Cherry palette. I love it. I love all the pinks, corals, peaches, these are the kind of colors that I just naturally 
um, am attracted to, not only in makeup, but in like decor and uh, everything. Oh, that's what I told you guys I could live in this palette. That's what I told you the other day, and you probably all thought I lost my mind, but because of the colors, I could just like, if my whole house was using those colors as the swatches, I'd be thrilled. I think it'd be awesome. Here's one I got. It's called The Queen. A Queen Lies in All of Us by Eloise. This came, um, there are 20 pigments in this for, let's see, eight matte, six shimmers, one pressed pearl, four metallics, and one duochrome topper. So, let me get, um, there we go. No, we don't blind you again. Look at all these gorgeous colors. I mean, this is gorgeous. I, I bet you could make, like, an eye makeup look out of this every day for a month and not get bored. Ooh, that's gold. I don't know what else looks like on me. My hands aren't as lizardy, y'all. I keep drinking, drinking, drinking. That's pretty, though. I just love this. Okay, this is 12 hey, twelve piece uh, pressed pigments palette. Try to say that fast a few times. Um, let me cover the mirror up. This is the Festival palette from Pure. Look at that color. I love it. And the coral, it's just perfect. I don't use it enough though, y'all. The way I store my palettes is I store them like standing up, like file folder style, you know? And I'm just not getting enough use out of these things. And that's just a shame. My eyes are jealous of the rest of my face. Okay. Here's one of my favorites. Now, Tarte put out three of these. I can't remember which is which, what name is what, and all that. But here's one. It smells so good. It smells like vanilla cake. So there's one of them. And Tarte Shadows pigments, blushes, all their stuff is always top notch for sure. Here's another one. And let's see what colors it has. These are more neutrals. Let's see what the difference is between these two. I bet there's not a lot. And I had a third one. I gave it to my mom. Um, so the difference mainly is there's more pink here, pink, and that's more grays, and a lot of the colors are similar, though. So pretty. Okay, this one says its name is Rainforest of the Sea. This one doesn't have anything on the middle. I don't know what it is, but I like them. I do like them a lot. Okay, I bought this. I got this out of TJ Maxx the same time I got that Unicorn Tears lip gloss. Look at these colors. Now you can tell that this one broke and I tried to repress it. You can tell it's been repressed. Um, but this is a good palette for travel. In fact, I should have taken this with me this past week. I didn't think about it because these things are all over my makeup collection, collection uh, drawers. Okay, these are all from, I don't know which subscription box, but these are Natasha Denona, um, five quad, or not five quad, <laughs> five piece, that would be Quint, right? Quint. Um, they're all fairly neutral. Let me open it up for you again so you can see. The names are on the back, but here's one. And they're really super soft. I don't know why I don't get them out. Again, it's because I have not, I think I'm just not organizing my makeup in the best way. Here's another one. You know all of those colors. Pretty, pretty. And the third and last one is this one. So this one's called Peak, P-E-A-K. This one is called Ayana, 
A-Y-A-N-A. And this one is called Cupid. Cupid, draw back your bow. Okay, here's a Wander Beauty. I've several times almost thrown this away, just to be honest, um, because it looks so much like so many other things that I have. Let me, uh, I really don't want to hurt y'all's eyes. There it is. It's got highlighter, a blush, and then six eyeshadows. It's a very complimentary palette. It's good to have. Um, and it's a good pink. That's a good pink. Let's see how, oh, that's a highlighter. Oh my gosh, y'all. That highlighter is so soft. Okay. So there's that one. It's from Wonder Beauty from a box. I don't know when. Okay, this is also a Wonder Beauty box. Let me grab. I'll grab that. It also has some fun colors like this blue. That's just fun. Um, I don't know that I could use it because it is so sparkly, but it definitely is worth trying. Let me know though. I've never put a wet brush to a soft shadow, so maybe that would make it stay on my lid and off of my under eye and little wrinkles. Who knows? Okay. This one I got for Christmas a couple of years ago. How cute is this? It was a whole selection. There's like a, uh, I've got a highlight and blush little compact, but I was trying to mainly focus on eyeshadow palettes today. You guys. But look how cute this is. So I got this Christmas, not this past, but the year before. And it's just like, this is called Candy Cane. It's not red. Look at that though. Look at the color payoff. One little swipe. I love these. I love them and I don't use them. I've got to use them. But they're all Christmassy. It was something that um, Too Faced came out with on Sephora's website around Christmas last year. No, Christmas of 20... 2020. Yeah, 2020. Christmas 2020. That's when I got this. Um, we're almost done. So, I got this, I think I, did I recently open this one? I think I did. I'm not really sure. Look how beautiful that is. This, like, it looks mustard, it looks orange, it looks copper, but that's it. Right there, if you can see anything left on my hands. I really like it. What is this, though? Well, I'll be, y'all, look. They tell you which kind of brush to use on each line. Now, how sweet is that? That's really kind and smart. So, they want you to smudge this one into your crease. This is a packing color. And these are used to define. If I'm reading that correctly. And this brand is Complex Culture. I finally found it. Complex Culture. That's why it's got the double C. Okay, I've got... Okay, now this one I have... This is... I'm never going to get rid of this. I don't think. I don't use it anymore because I've had it for quite a few years. But I bought this... Let me find something to hide the mirror with. I bought this um, to go... To New Orleans, my husband and I took a trip to New Orleans through his work, but I knew we would be there, oops, for fun too, and I packed, bought, I purchased this palette and brought it with me specifically for that vacation, um, so I don't want to get rid of it just because it's, it's nostalgia, you know, we had so much fun on that trip, so it's from Graveyard Girl on YouTube, um, and it has been around well, I've had this since 2017, so, and it, I think it was hard to get then. It had already been, you know, like a big, okay, I got two more left. This one came out recently, um, in a box, and it is absolutely gorgeous. 
Like, I don't want to use it. It's so pretty. Because it's all... You can tell I've swiped, but do you see that texture? These are all a galaxy. It's all the planets. And it's just too cute. It really is. Like, for Earth, they have, like, a dirt brown kind of color. Am I reading that correctly? Yes. And they're not all, um, it's not all the planets, but anyway, it's just adorable. I love this. And that's why I kept it was because it's just so pretty. But at the same time, I don't want to mess it up with all its pretty little textured details. We'll see. One more, y'all, and I'm done. I know you're all thrilled. <laughs> this seems to have taken a really long time. Okay, last one is this. The Tardius Pro palette from Tarte. And it is awesome. One of them, one of the colors came broken and I pressed it back in. Um, I can't even tell which one it was. But anyway, let me put this on there so you can see it. Again, of course, it's tarp, so it smells good like vanilla. These are gorgeous shades, y'all. They really are. Every single shade is usable in some way. So, on that note, those are my eye palettes. I do have a few face palettes, but not enough that I think you'd be interested in seeing, but you can tell me below. So, be ready to see these things in a pal in a weekly makeup basket sometime soon. Um, if there's a specific one of these you want me to use, I will use it. And I'll try to link, just like link them all. I usually get these things off of, if they're not off subscription boxes, I get them off Amazon or Sephora. Um, mainly Sephora and Ulta, actually. So, but I can, um, I'll put in the, I never do this, so I'll put in the description box all of them. I'll try to find a link, um, or whatever. Whatever works. I don't know. I've only been, like I said, I don't know how to do YouTube videos where, like, you put in a link and it, like, links through your page to somewhere. And I think, like, it gives you, like, a little, like, one percent or some or lower of half a percent or something like that if the person clicks on it so i mean i don't know i don't know how to do that plus i'm a very small channel so but if you see any of these that you really want me to use then i'll do an eye look i'll, I'll do an eye makeup look and i'll take a picture for you <laughs> i still am really am enjoying my anonymity um, but I want to make you guys happy. So if you think I should be showing my face, please tell me. Or if you like not knowing what my face looks like, which it's popped in the frame a few times my face has and I left it, but whatever, anything like that, I'm open to criticism, um, constructive criticism. Also, I still, I can't remember who told me I needed to do this, but they were so right. I got to learn how to make previews. She thinks, I think it was a she, they, whatever, it's like they, they thought it would really help my channel a lot if people could know, like the awesome sounds that are coming up at the end of the video that they could stick around to. Anyway, I'm gonna try to figure that out very soon. So, this is my eyeshadow palette collection. Yes, I have more eyeshadow, either singles or quads or whatever, but these are my palettes. And I really hope that you enjoyed looking through them with me, swatching a few of them. And I do hope you see these really soon with y'all in a makeup basket. I, I've got to get them. It's Sunday now. I've got to get a makeup basket put together. Um, or... I won't have any makeup to wear. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that today. Anyways, I just love y'all. And I hope that you have a really, really good evening um, or, or nap. I hope that this has relaxed you some. 
and um, I hope you feel loved and comforted and supported um, not just by me but by the other people in this um, in our little community in the big ASMR community as well and with that I would like to wish you sweet dreams and satisfying lullaby ASMR and a good night